it's Presley at EctoGames.com here and today we are taking some advice from Emily and creating a pinned bug collection. Okay, so we found a nice spider for a specimen that we can pin today and she's under this log, this big piece of a ba wood I think we used for the fence, for the big fence back there. And we just left it here for some reason and it's become a house for lots of bugs. So you wanna see him? He, he's kind of black, he has spots, he's kind of blended in, he's right there. He's right there, he's kind of blended in. And I think he would work for a first good specimen, do you think? So we've collected a few specimens and we've gotten some little cotton balls of nail polish remover in there and we've gotten a bunch of tissue paper just so the specimens don't get damaged and they have places to hide and so they don't like get hurt or anything kind of so they have places to hide and kind of hang out in. So this is where the specimens will stay until they die and then which will be about tonight and they'll stay in there and when we are ready we will open the jar and we'll start the pinning process okay so okay <laughs> okay so we just caught this guy in the garage he's not alive so we didn't just catch him but kind of recently in the garage he is the biggest bug we have found so when you're pinning a moth, you kind of pin him. You know how on all these other bugs, if you've pinned before, you go slightly to the side, like on this one, on this one, on this one, and this one, and this one. But for moth, you try and pin kind of in the middle. Like about there would be good for him, I think. So we got to... So the technique is to kind of hold him a little bit with your fingers, so... Don't really squish him too much until the pin goes through. So now you can kind of pick him up with the pin. The pin's in good. So now you move him to where you want him. So I want him to be there. And you put the pin in to the styrofoam. I'm going to loosen the pin a little bit because it's a bit hard. So there you go. You got him pinned. So when you want to pin a moth, you want to keep the top of the wing at a 90 degree angle, so a straight line, and then you want the bottom parts of the wing to be like barely touching the top. So mine's a little derpy and doesn't look like it, but now we're going to try and do that with him. It's not really much of a 90 degree, but I think that would work pretty well. I'm gonna make them um, about there too. And then we've got a move these guys down a little bit the smaller wing part so they're barely touching his, wing, his second wing is way way tucked under so about there would be good because it looks natural so i'm gonna put him in well you don't even have to put him right there but i'm gonna put just scooch it out a little more scooch it a little teensy bit more there we go. Okay. I'm gonna pull this one out a lot. So be aware if you're pinning one of these kinds of moths. They have really long things. So my strategy for these guys is pulling it toward and then the body kinda kinda outward. So for this guy I'm actually gonna take this pin out of the thing. Move this pin more up, these pins more forward so you can see the bottom part of the wing a lot better. So now you can take the pin. So on um, some of these bottom parts of the wing. Sometimes you need to pin the bottom parts of the wing, sometimes you don't. So see there, it's good. So he got his, he got these weird little, he got these weird little antenna thingies over here. So I want to kind of stick those out. 
a little bit so you can see them. I mean, all moths have antenna, but this guy's look the coolest. I'm gonna tell you a creepy story about this guy. He so he'd been sitting in uh, the kill jar for a few minutes for um, about as long as it normally takes for a bug to be killed in the killer jar. So we took him out and I popped him right there. And then I came in here to like draw a little bit and I looked over to the side at the moth being like, oh, I wonder, I wonder if I can go get my, to go get ready to pin him. And then I saw his, uh, Abdomen, is that his abdomen? W wiggle a little bit, and I'm like, oh, it's probably just my imagination. I kept drawing. And then I look back over, and I saw his wing flutter a little bit, and I'm like, uh, hey, mom, get over here. Is this actually moving? And then he, we figured out that he was actually moving, so we stuck him in there for uh, about 30 minutes or so. Now he's really dead for now because. This is a really kind of creepy story because everyone thought he was already dead. And I'll just show you him. He looks really cool compared to these other moths. This one looks really, really derpy. He must have died in a very uncomfortable position that I couldn't have fixed. This guy looks good, but he looks the cool. I think he looks the most natural and coolest. He, um, he, he is the biggest if you just take the cam if you just take the camera and chill on. So that is me pinning this moth. So yeah, those are the first one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bugs that I pinned, which were all pinned in the span of two days. So yeah. Thank you for watching it and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!